Hi, if you are new to the channel, my name is Neil and I'm an architect in the UK. Did you know that drivers in this country own more convertibles per head of population than almost anywhere else in the world? You might think that's odd. First off, it rains in the UK. A lot. Surely convertibles are not a sensible choice. Second, why is an architect talking about convertibles? This video is supposed to be about bifold doors. Well, I think we can view bifold doors the same way most people view convertibles. They are a luxury, precisely because we can't use them regularly. Convertibles might be unremarkable in Southern California, but in the UK, being able to make the most of fine weather is a rare and special thing. Bifold doors give us that ability. They might stay shut most of the year, but on those few precious days when the weather is glorious, there is nothing else like being able to throw open the doors and let the outside in. As an architectural feature, they are unique, but it's very easy to get bifold doors wrong. And because our building regulations are constantly being updated to reduce heat loss, there are ever fewer reliable bifold door manufacturers in the UK. I'm going to explain why, so you have the knowledge to choose the right doors for your project. I've come to this wonderful house in Creef, between Perth and Stirling in Scotland, to give you a practical example of what bifold doors can do. I'm going to explain how changes to our building regulations will affect the look and feel of bifold doors in the near future. And at the end of the video, I will tell you what an installation like this one actually costs. So stay tuned for that. These doors were designed and manufactured by Sunflex UK. If you watch the channel regularly, you know I've used their products on several of my own projects over the years. I even made a video taking a deep dive into this using one of my projects as an example. I've put a link to that video up here and in the description below. The building behind me is not one of my designs. The owners, Mark and Louise, had these bifold doors fitted by Mitchell Glass, who are the approved installer for Sunflex in Scotland. These doors show what is cutting edge right now, and this Sunflex frame is ready to cope with upcoming changes to building regulations that will massively impact the bifold door industry in the UK. When you watch the news and see the government making commitments to cut the UK carbon footprint, the construction industry is one of the main areas where these cuts have a real-world impact. Over the past 20 years, we've had to install ever more insulation into buildings to meet increasing demands for energy efficiency. But we can't install insulation in windows and doors, so glazing technology had to improve massively. To measure heat loss, we need to do a little bit of science. Now, bear with me, you will see why this matters for your doors in a minute. We use something called the U-value to describe how much heat is lost from any element of a building, whether it's a wall, floor, roof, window, or door. U-values are like golf. The lower the number, the better the score. The U-value measures the heat lost in watts per square meter per hour per degree Celsius of temperature difference between inside and out. That is a mouthful, but it makes sense. If it's 20 degrees inside and 20 degrees outside, there won't be any heat loss. There's nowhere for the heat to go. But for every degree colder it gets outdoors, more heat wants to leave your nice cozy house and escape outside, costing you money. When I started working for myself back in 2009, the maximum U-value for a window or door was 2.2. Today, in 2023, it's 1.4 in Scotland and 1.2 in England, and it's only going to get lower as time goes on. Over the past 15 years, our windows have become almost 50% more efficient, which sounds great, only it creates one huge problem. Wait. We are now approaching the point where, even with high-tech reflective coatings and inert gas in the cavity, double glazing will no longer be able to meet the required U-values. In the near future, all new windows and doors will have to be triple glazed, and triple glazing is really heavy. This bifold door frame is a Sunflex SF75 Eco model, and it is double glazed. You can see how thick the SF75 frame is compared to an older SF55 model. The SF75 frame was originally designed for triple glazing, but in this bifold door, double glazing was used instead because the frame is stronger and can carry more weight, and that allows the panels to be wider than if they had used the smaller SF55 frame. You can see where I'm going with this. Once triple glazing becomes the norm, frames like the SF75 will also become the norm. Sunflex are ahead of the competition with this. The SF75 frame, when used with triple glazing, can achieve a U-value as low as 0.8, which is 33% more efficient than the current requirements. So even as the regulations get more demanding in the future, Sunflex products will remain cutting edge. The frame can even meet passive house standards for air tightness, and it has a patented thermal brake. It's this black plastic component here. The thermal brake separates the inside aluminium from the outer aluminium frame, so that heat doesn't conduct through the door. 
This also allows you to choose a different color on the inside of your door from the outside, which is a nice design option to have. Sunflex bifold doors can lock into each other, allowing open corners like this one, with no post or other visible means of support. Just like the convertible roof on a car, if a single hinge fails, the whole thing fails. But unlike a convertible, which is made of fabric, triple glazed bifold doors are extremely heavy. Because of all that weight, a bifold door is under huge stress when it opens and closes. The hinges and running gear on this Sunflex frame are designed to cope with that stress. Given the changes to the building regulations creating the need for triple glazing, it is unlikely that many manufacturers will be able to cope with these requirements. Sunflex UK have planned ahead and designed their frames to cope well into the future. I think Sunflex frames offer a great balance between cost and quality, but these things are subjective, so I will let you decide whether this equals value for money. If this double glazed bifold door was installed today, it would cost £20,000 plus of that. Because the SF75 frame is designed to cope with the weight, the extra cost to install triple glazing would only be about £500 plus of that. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that these doors are very tall, and that height is only possible because of double glazing. If triple glazing were used in a bifold door like this, the panels would weigh far more, and would have to be slightly narrower and shorter to cope. All that extra weight sets limits on what is possible, which is why talking to a Sunflex UK approved installer early in the design process is the best way to work out what is right for your project. I've put a link in the description to help you find your local Sunflex installer. Tell them Neil sent you. I regularly make videos about the reality of altering and extending private homes in the UK, as well as issues that affect the construction industry and the architecture profession. If you like the sound of that, please subscribe to the Real Life Architect YouTube channel. Thanks to Mark and Louise for letting me film in this beautiful home today, and thank you for watching.